Hello, Sweatbox family. Chris and Mark here. How you guys doing? Hope your everything is good in your world today. All right, so we have a wild card workout for you. The only equipment that you need is your sofa, a chair, or a bench. Any of those will work. We have eight exercises for you today. You are going to do each exercise three times before moving on to the next station. And your time today is 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So, quick whip through that uh, walkthrough for you guys. So we are gonna start with a squat to reverse lunge. You're gonna alternate squat opposite leg, reverse lunge. We're gonna make sure that those legs stay at 90 degrees when we are doing those reverse lunges. Then we are hitting the floor and we are going to do inchworms. So karate chop those hips, soft knees are fine. We're gonna walk out into that plank position and then we're gonna walk back up. All right, we're gonna hit the floor into a jackknife crunch next. So we're gonna start, bums tight, heels uh, pushed out, arms above our head, driving our knees into our chest. We will give you a regression, that is to keep your knees, or your hands on the floor, and driving your knees in. Then we are going to dips. So, keeping our legs at 90 degrees, that's the theme today. <laughs> and we are going to drop our butt straight down, squeezing our triceps at the top. So again, inhaling down and exhaling up. Then you're going into a static squat, or if you got a wall close to you, you can do a wall sit. So again, feet are gonna be nice and wide in the static squat. Pelvis is gonna be sitting forward. Then we are going to, something new for you today, bear position, plank, walk out. You are only moving your lower body. Hands are gonna stay underneath your shoulders. You are gonna be using your abdominals to help those legs go in and out. Then we're going down to Superman. So, down on the floor, bum tight, abs tight, nose to the floor, exhaling up, pulling those heels and feet off the floor, inhaling down, exhaling up, abs and butt nice and tight, quads too, and then back down. And finally, incline push-ups. So we're gonna keep our hands close to underneath our shoulders. We are going to inhale down, bringing our chest towards the bench or the chair or the couch. And again, remember squeezing those shoulder blades together as you are driving your body down. All right, guys, that's your walkthrough. We're gonna start with our warm up. Do it, let's get going. I'm gonna do those upper body twists, get that trunk warmed up, rotating on the balls of our feet. All right, let's transition that into some hip hinges. Breathe in and exhale. Start warming up that posterior chain. Alrighty, let's go into just some air squats. We're gonna hang out at the bottom here. Get those elbows inside the knees. Push out. Let's kind of shift your weight side to side. Push up through those heels. Exhale. Let's do that again. Big breath in. And exhale. All righty, let's just take this into 15 seconds of jumping jacks. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's hit this wild card workout. All right, guys, are you ready for this? We're gonna start squat to reverse lunge. You're alternating legs on that reverse lunge. All right, we got 10 seconds before we get started. Are you guys ready for this? Keep in mind that you don't need to keep those feet narrow in the lunge. All right, squat down, reverse lunge. Complete that squat, right? So butts tight, abs tight, quads tight, and then we go into that lunge. Mark's right, if you need to go a little bit wider with your stance as you're coming back into that lunge for balance, that's totally fine. Alright, 20 seconds off, that's one 
down. We've got two more to go with this one. <clears throat> I'm going to turn to the side for this as well. Again, we're going to be <clears throat> turning our knees and our toes in the same direction as we squat. Right, guys? All right, here we go. In four. All right, squat. Don't rush this, right? We want to keep that form on point. Last 15 seconds here. Remember, you're exhaling on the way up. All right, here we go. Rest time. Okay. One more to go. Quads are feeling that already. Definitely loving that combination. Okay. <sighs> 10 seconds left of that break. All right. Last time we have to do this today. Here we go. One lap only, guys. All right. Here we go. Squat down. That's it. You want to be looking ahead. No need to look down. Trust your body. It knows what it's doing. You don't need to tuck your chin and look under and check your squat. Should be feeling lots of glutes here too. All right, rest. Inchworms is next. So, I'm going to show you, I like this, chop those, your body in half, push your hips back, walk out into a plank, pause here for a second, get your butt and your abs tight, keep your abdominals tight as you come straight up to standing. All right. Whew. Okay, we got 15 seconds left of your break. Make sure that you're ready in position. Once that beeper goes, you got to start your first rep right away. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart. Here we go. In five seconds. Pop those hips back, right? Here we go. Walk it out into that plank. Pause. And then walk in straight back up again. Pick the same place to look at ahead of you every time you come up. Make sure we're not hyperextending our back. When we come up, we want to make sure that we keep our glutes nice and tight as well. Lots of abs here, guys. Five seconds left. All right, rest. Nice little stretch in those hamstrings. Oh, yeah, especially after yesterday. Those weighted goblet lunges, Woo, those always get me. I had dreams of that backpack last night. All right, here we go. Six seconds left. Try to chop those hips. Here we go. Hinge. Try your best to get your heels flat on the floor before standing back up. Remember those legs are soft or locked. We're not bending, we're not squatting to get down to the floor.
No saggy backs. When you come out into that plank, hands stay under those shoulders. Stay in that plank position. Don't drop your hips down. Almost there. Woo. All right. Here we go. Enjoy that break. Grab some water. We're going down to the floor. We've got jackknife crunches. So, we're going to start in this position. Bum nice and tight. That way your heels will stay off the floor. We're going to drive our knees up in towards our chest and bringing our hands to either side of our calves. So, this is your regular jackknife crunch. Modification one. Hands are going to be to the floor. Just moving your knees in and out. Modification number two. We are going to hands to the floor, one leg down, and you're gonna switch, driving that knee in every five. All right, guys, here we go. Two, one, go. This doesn't need to be fast. Pause at the top, exhale at the top. Inhale on the way down. Encouraging you guys to push with those heels. As I come up, my feet are together and I'm bringing my knees out to the sides a little bit so that I can drive my heels up a little bit more. Four seconds, come on guys. You got this. All right, rest up. Remember those modifications we gave you, right? So hands to the floor, driving your knees in and out, still keeping those feet together. There's your option. Number one. All right. Are you ready to do this? Number two, guys? Heck yeah. All right, here we go. Three. Let's go. I'll do first modification with you. Full exhalation at the top, okay? Notice I'm keeping my heels up. I'm leading with my heels and I'm not letting them touch the floor. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that burn. Those this abs are engaged. This exercise does hit your upper and lower oh, abs. Yes, it does. Four seconds. Woo, all right, rest. Oh, Nelly. I'm a big fan of the jackknife crunch. I'm almost gonna say the regression seems a little, little more challenging than the <clears throat> movement itself. Definitely helps you be balanced. All right, here we go. Five seconds, everybody. All right, I'm doing second regression with you guys. So, one of my feet are on the floor. I'm gonna do five per side. Not letting my heel touch from my working leg. And switch in size. Don't kid yourself just because this is a regression. It's still a lot of work. Four seconds, everybody. I'm switching early. I want to keep it balanced. Woo, rest. That was a good one. Oh. All right, we're going to grab that chair or sofa. We're going into dips. All right. So again, we are just sliding our butt off the chair or the bench or the sofa. We are going to make sure that our legs are at 90 degrees. We are dropping our butt straight down. We are squeezing our triceps at the top of that dip. Abs are going to be nice and tight. So this is your basic dip. If you need to kick it up, bring those legs out. But again, same thing. We don't want our hips to come forward. All right, here we go, guys. Down and up. You can see both Mark and I have our toes up and we're digging our heels into the floor. Again, the reason why we do this is so that we can focus on triceps. If your feet are flat on the floor, sometimes, you can be tempted to use your legs to bring Oh yeah, you'll be tempted to push up through those feet. Love these bench dips. 10 seconds, guys. 
Straight down, straight up. It's not a race here. Don't do a ton of reps. All right. Oh, feel that burn. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, you guys are doing great. Roll those shoulders back. Shake your hands out. You can turn your hands to the sides if necessary. So if this bothers your wrists, turn your hands out to the sides. There's always this option. Okay. Inhale down, exhale up. Squeeze those triceps at the top. That's what we want. Woo. Keep that chest up. Try not to hinge forward. Whoa. I know. Final 10. You got this. Three seconds, everybody. So good. Oh, oh thank goodness we only have one more of those to do. I'm grabbing a little water here. Waking those babies up. All right, shake your hands out. Okay, we got seven seconds. Assume the position, guys. Get back to your spot. Oh, here we go. Get those heels down, get those toes up. All right, here we go. You, you can know. keep. Go ahead. You can keep your knees a little bit wider if necessary. Sometimes you may need to do that to accommodate your body and the movement in those hips as well. Oh, so good. I was gonna say you'll notice I'm hanging out at the top a little bit. I'm taking that extra moment to really squeeze my triceps. Get that mind muscle connection going. Oh, builds the burn so good. Yep. High five, guys. Alrighty. Can we make a high five? <laughs> All right, we are going to our static squat or wall sit. So if you're doing a static squat like I am, my feet are going to be past shoulder width apart. My toes are going to be out. My knees are going to be out. So I'm going to be sitting nice and deep. My butt is going to be down, not hinged. Mark's going to be doing a wall sit, so. I'm going to be against, back against the wall, shoulders pressed back. I'm going to be targeting my knees, my legs to be at 90 degrees. That means shins, vertical, thighs, horizontal. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. You can see I'm sitting deeper than that 90. We don't want to be slumping down. If you can do this, if you've got the range, great. If not, get yourself up to 90 degrees. Hands up here for balance. You can put them out as well. But this is cheating. So get your hands off your legs. All right. 14 seconds left, guys. Stay strong here. This is the third round, right? This is the last time you're doing this, right? <laughs> if you were counting backwards, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Five seconds, people. I don't people. like that. Here we go. Oh, Two. keep that back pushed against the wall. All right, oh. come on up. Oh, this is cruel and unusual punishment, especially after yesterday. <clears throat> oh. Okay. You know, you can do your static squat with me if you like. Oh no, I'm a lot for punishment. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, oh. guys. We're not doing these because they're easy. We're doing these because they are hard. That's right. Arms out if you need to, or hands in, just like this. Again, keep those hands off your legs. You guys got this. <sighs> yes, it's burning all in here. That's okay. We are more than halfway through this set, and we are more than halfway through this block of work. I'm not saying that for you, I'm saying that for me. I gotta keep myself going here. Four seconds, everybody. Oh, oh yeah. boy. All oh. right, good job. Good oh. job. I'm taking a lap. Shake the legs out. Oh boy. So good. All right, tell the team what their back should be doing when they're against the wall. What should you be feeling when you're against the wall? Shoulders. Shoulders. Upper back, lower, sorry, shoulders, lower back. There you go. That's it. 
You want to keep connected to that wall. It's really yeah. easy to come forward. You don't want to do that. Mind over muscle, kids. <laughs> keep this focused. <sighs> Last time you have to do this today, guys. Yeah. Last time. Oh. Finish strong. Get out of that head. Your body can do this. Oh, yes, it can. Final 10 seconds. Now the final five. Listen for those beeps. There they are. Here they come. Taking us home. Oh, Ooh, great good. job. All right, well done, everybody. You are on break. Okay, so <sighs> we're going to those bare position plank walkouts. So, quick recap. We are going to keep our hands under our shoulders, feet and knees wide. Tuck your toes, knee off the floor, knees off the floor an inch from here. Walk out to a plank, pause, walk back in. Walk out, make sure you're in a fully planked position. Again, walk back in. We're gonna keep our butts down today. All right, if your blood is rushing your head, because your booty's in the air. Okay, guys, let's go. Three, two, one. All right, don't be fooled. Your abs play a big part of this. Here we go. You wouldn't be keeping back that out. back flat. That booty low. Your knees should not be more than an inch to two inches off the floor when you're in that bare position. Ask yourself, are your hands underneath your shoulders? Four seconds, everyone. Okay, rest. Awesome, take a knee. So when rest. I'm walking out into my plank, my legs are still at shoulder or hip width apart. So if you wanna walk in and bring your feet in, there's an option for you as well, okay? <clears throat> I like to keep my feet wide here. All right. Okay. Slow and steady, again, not a race. Think about what your lower abs are doing right now to help you bring those knees in. And again, when you bring your knees in, you're returning right back to that bare position. You don't need to bring your knees into your elbows, right? Oh, 15 seconds left, everybody. Four seconds, you got this. Oh. Ooh, All right, rest up. Might have caught myself there. I think I was tucking my chin a little bit. So I'm going to be really conscious of that on this final round. Not to tuck my chin. I want to keep my airways open. I'm going to try and look on the ground between my hands or a little bit in front. I want you to do the same if you think you're tucking your chin. Nobody needs to look at the pedicure, right? <laughs> Check those shoulders. I know it's easy, mine keep drifting back too. I'm gonna be forever correcting that, that's okay. Be aware and make that correction. Four seconds, everybody. <sighs> All right, you did oh, it, good. Great job, don't go too far, we got Superman's next. All right, so we are coming down to the floor. We are going to engage our abs. We are going to keep our bums tight here. Nose to the floor, exhale up. Bum and quads tight, abs tight, so your legs come off the floor. Hold for two seconds, come right back down. Exhale up. Come right back down, all right? That is your Superman or Superwoman. <sighs> I like to hold mine as long as it takes me to controlled exhale and I inhale on the reset. Remember to relax your body as you're coming down. Once you're down, engage abs, glutes, and quads to come back up. 
and then release as you come down. But again, control. You're gonna feel all the muscles right above your lower back, the outsides of your obliques here. And they're all gonna be working for you too. All right, down we go. If you've got low back problems, supermans are actually a great rehab exercise for you as well. It'll help strengthen the muscles to support your low back. All right, here we go. We got 10 seconds left. How are you doing so far? Doing great. Yeah, okay. We All are right. home stretch. We are on round seven of eight. All right, here we go. Big exhale out. And then inhale down. So when I come up, I'm looking just a little bit in front of me. I'm not creaning my neck to look up at the ceiling. I don't want to do that. I want to still protect my neck. Final 10, everybody. Woo. All right, rest. Might as well hang out here. <laughs> Hope you guys are feeling great. Hope that sweat's starting to come. Oh, Here we go, right. we got last one. Okay, five seconds to go, people. In three, two, one. All right, let's go. Exhale. Remember, keep that butt tight at the top here. Working on that mind-muscle connection. What are your abs doing? What are your quads doing? What are your glutes doing? Seven seconds to go. Awesome work. This is it, gang. Our last break, and then our last set, we are going into incline push-ups. Now I'm gonna bring my bed check here. All right. So I wanna keep you guys reminded, we're gonna keep our hands still underneath our shoulders. So when you go to do that push-up, we're coming down, chest towards that bench. Instead of being back here, bum up in the air, I don't know what that is. That's not what we're looking for. So. Shoulders and hands, so shoulders on top of the hands, body straight as a surfboard, tuck that pelvis a little bit, squeeze your butt, inhale down, Here exhale, all right, let's do this. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then come straight back up again, I'm going to lock those arms out at the top. Come as low as you can, while still staying in control. Again, you're not going to do as many of them, that's okay. Inhale, exhale, all right. Stay on the balls of your feet, right? You don't need to have your feet flat on the floor. I'm looking just past my bench. I'm not tucking my chin. All right, rest up. One down, two to go. Nobody's thinking about their legs right now. Nope. Or their abs. <laughs> or their abs. All right, here we go. Six seconds. Be mindful you're not doing a push up where you're flaring your elbows out to the side. All right. Get that chest towards your bench. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're down. Exhale up. Same thing, just as we're pulling those shoulder blades together as we pull ourselves down to the bench. I want you to push those shoulder blades apart at the top. I want full extension of this push-up. Squeeze every last inch out at the top. Final 10. <sighs> well done. I said this before, it's a really great indicator to see how you're progressing, how you're progressing by the quality of your planks and the quality of your push-ups, everybody. <clears throat> it's really easy to 
not have a ton of upper body and core strength in the beginning. Let's get ready to go. All right, last one. The stronger you get, the better quality those planks and push-ups will be. So don't get discouraged. Everybody has a first day, a first week, a first month. You'll get there. Here, I'm gonna do, this is late in the game. I'm gonna turn my bench to face you guys so you can see what my elbows are doing. See, I'm pushing my shoulder blades apart, but pulling them together. Final 10, guys. Elbows are staying tight to my body. Woo. You know what that sound means. Oh, that such sound a means lovely it's sound. Over. Yes. Awesome. Right. Let's move our benches out of the way. switch sides so if it is still April when you were doing this workout we are running a contest with matriarch remember to take a sweaty selfie of your of yourself uh, and uh, tag us and the matriarch uh, information is on our Instagram feed at the sweatbox.ca contest runs until April 30th all right inhale up legs out we're gonna to reach towards our feet or shins or knees, whatever works. Nice stretch for that spine and your hamstrings. All right, we're gonna do this one last time and then we'll release you for your day. Big inhale up and exhale forward. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. We sure did. Yes, we We're did. We're bringing you another one tomorrow. Stay safe, guys. Get out there. Enjoy the warm weather at a safe distance. And, the and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a super day, everybody. See ya.